Hi everyone, I've Pop here. For today I want to play into Lavo, a man of God from the campaign of Edward Longshanks. So it's more chilling session, maybe gonna talk about something, maybe not. Sometimes I like to bring up something special, something different. I might do that later. Let's try it, I'm really excited about it because the campaign seems to be cool. And I want to under understand more about that. So let's see how it is. Ruthless and cunning, Edward did not always adhere to the chivalric codes that the European nobility held so dear. After massacring Simone the Younger's men in a stealthy night attack on Kenilworth, he used the captured banners to disguise his army before smashing de Montfort at Evesham. In an act of alarming brutality, the corpse of de Montfort, an Earl of England, was hacked into carrion and his head mounted on a pike. Edward had won the war and cowed the rebels into submission in just over a year, but the victory came at the cost of his honor. Nobility and clergy alike cringed at the thought of an impious butcher one day ascending to the throne of England. To restore his ailing reputation and prove himself worthy of the crown, my father resolved to lead a crusade east to the Holy Land, where the situation grew increasingly dire. The voracious Mamluk Sultanate waged a fierce war of expansion, first against the Mongols and now against the beleaguered Crusaders. Several fortresses quickly fell before their unstoppable onslaught. Their leader was Sultan Baibars, a man not unlike my father, Edward. Originally a slave of Cumin origin, he rose to prominence through military service and had recently taken power after murdering the reigning Sultan. Having just slaughtered the population of Antioch, his armies now threatened Ocker and Tripoli from the east, converging on both cities in a suffocating siege. Edward's army arrived in Ocker to find the inhabitants desperate, but not beyond hope. Okay, that seems to be very good. Hold Acre, one red and Tripoli, two blue. Until the Mameluk forces withdraw, at least one castle in each city must stand. Alright, so that's the inverse of what we have apparently during the, Sar the S Saladin campaign. Lord Edward is restricted to the castle age and a population limit of 125. Additionally, his defensive strategy and limited resources preclude the training of villagers and the construction of many buildings and siege engines. Britain and Bowman are immensely powerful units that are adept at holding defensive positions. We're probably gonna do that because there is an achievement for 500 long bowmen, so maybe we can do here, maybe we can't. Let's see. Use the seat of fish and to trade with the port of Limassol in the west, but be war of the Mameluk fleet. Okay. The Knights of the Crusade orders the most powerful soldiers in the field will march as you command. Deploy these elite troops where the fighting is thickest and coordinate their many views with you. The Mongol you cannot detest Mamluks and could make a powerful ally, should the need arise. Okay. Lord Edward. Red has arrived in Acre with the Crusading force to take over the defense of the city. The Crusading city of Tripoli Blue is situated slightly north of Edward's position in Acre. Tripoli will defend itself with surgeons, crossbowmen, and pikemen. Okay. Crusaders' orders of knighthood, yellow, control several old-lying fortresses and, and camps, as well as some enclaves, enclaves 
with an acre and triple. They feel the powerful army of heavy infantry and half cavalry. Mameluk controlled the city of Aleppo. Sion is poised to strike at Tripoli from the north. Aleppo attacks with long swordsmen, ca camel riders, elite skirmishers, and siege engines. Alright, so a lot of things to take care of. Mameluk Sultanate. Sixth ring controls the southern and eastern portions of the map. Its sultan, Baibars, will mercilessly attack the crusaders with Mamelukes, cavalry, archers, light cavalry, and siege engines. Mamelukes will also construct a fleet to attack the crusaders by sea. Towns of Qualum, Purple, and Nazare, Grey, like the south and southeast. They are supplying Mameluk forces with provisions and men, but their poor guarded and will crumble before a swift offensive. The Mongol Ikanate Orange holds dominion over the northeast of the map. Its hordes of cavalry and mountain archers lie dormant for now, but could arrive at moment's notice. Man, there is a lot of things and there is a huge map, so it's very different from what I was thinking about the last level of Saladin. Okay. Ready, let's go for action. Mandatum, chop. The enemy moves against us. Man Ready, the chop, chop. Yeah, yeah, you can see the sun got land long below. enough. We will drag you from your castles and into the sea. Okay. Mandatum, chop. You yeah, need more wood, definitely. Ready. Greeting. Fitch. Yay. Fitch. Fitch. Greeting. Greeting. Uncle. Sane. Correct. Sane. Imperial. Correctus. Uncle. Ah. Correctus. Yay, yay, yay. But how? Yay, yay, yay. But how? And that's all. It's willing. Fight. Yay, it's willing. But how? Okay. No, 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 no. Okay. And rain fire and brimstone on the heathen camps and any towns that support them. Oh my. Where are the ports? Here? Okay, let's try to move forward. We don't have many choices here. Loot enemy blacksmith. Yours to command, Lord Edward. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Where the fighting is sickest, and yeah. we shall prove our yeah, word yeah. many times over. Fight. Okay. 
Uh, how do I control these guys? Oh, okay, here he is. That's very cool. Uh, I believe that you guys should do offensive. We have recovered advanced equipment from this moment. Oh, that's great. Okay, we need more. Oh crap. Oh, you guys come here. This depot holds precious resources. Distribute them among our valiant crusader brethren. Okay. Yeah, we need this. Definitely, we need more defense. Oh, that sucks. I mean, these guys didn't come with us, so... Okay, so we still have a chance. And we probably should go and focus here. Our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. A lot of things happening. Yay. Chop chopper. Ready. Chop chopper. Yay. Chop chopper. Chop -chopper. Yay. Patal. Patal. This depot holds precious resources. Distribute them among our valiant crusader brethren. Lord Edward, our city is under attack. Yeah, we we should now defend Tripoli. Crusader knights, defend Tripoli with your lives. Fight. At once, Lord Edward. The day shall be ours. Oh, come on, guys, go. Ready, go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, dude. Okay, I need this. I also need this. Oh great. That's good. Yeah, that's really cool. Oh yeah. Lord Edward, our city is under attack. Yeah, let's go, let's go.
I also need this. The enemy moves against us. Man the wall. This depot holds precious resources. Distribute them among our valiant crusader brethren. Oh, he did he did shot. We have recovered advanced equipment from this mammal. Yeah, I need some exploration as well. Oh, what is this? Oh, yeah, I can kill these guys. Maximum. We are doing very, very good. I mean, not that good, but yeah, you, you understand me. We need heated shots. What do we got here? Presto. Very curious about that. Oh, this guy suck. Oh. That's a pretty good defense. Okay. That we share a common rival in the Mamluks. Send an emissary to our car. And we will discuss the possibility of an alliance. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls! Ready. Yeah, yeah, it will. We have spoken with your emissary and offer these terms. Pay us 500 gold. And we will make fierce war on Aleppo and the Mameluk army. Okay. 500. Bargain well struck. Our dread horns will darken the sky with storms Ready, of yeah. arrows Salve. and ride Salve. our Salve. enemies Salve. down into Corral. the dark. Correctus. Okay. Now there are plenty of things messed up here. Help us if you can. 
Lord Edward, our city is under attack. Uh, you guys are fine now. I mean, should I have killed Tent that hard? I mean, would I get something else if I killed him? You ally with the Mongols to no avail, Crusade the curse! The Khan's head will rest beside yours, nailed to my palace doors. No, that's quite bad. Grayton? Chopper! Ready, That was a lot of losses. Ready. Whoa. Come back. I I sign it. Press the correctors. So, very cool level. You can command them. So, uh, yeah. Crusader Knights, mount an attack against the foul heathens. These guys have no resources, apparently. The day yes. shall be ours! Yes. Imperial Power. Ah, Mandatum, Willen. Ready. Batal! Yay, yes. 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 Mandatum, Batal! Yes. 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 I am it. Okay, guys. Correct. Yay, Willen. Yay, Willen. Ready. Time for some action. Yay, yay, yes! Uh, yeah, no need. Yeah, no siege. Ready. Yay, chop chopper. Imperial, salve, salve, corner. Ready. Yay, fight on yay. Yay, Batal! We have recovered advanced equipment from this mammal. Yes! Batal! The enemy moves against us. Yeah, Man the walls! Yes! Yeah, yeah. Okay. So we are doing a very, very traditional arm composition for Britons. Uh, like cavalry, some cav mix it in. Oh, that's bad. And that's where I missed this. Oh, some Tartars. Yeah, okay. I need some. Uh, guys, you should attack. Ready. 
I'm gonna go full archers here. These allies suck. I mean, they really suck. That's good. I mean, if I can't penetrate there, it can be good. Oh, but no guitar. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls. Yay, well and done. Ready, well and done. Yes. Yay, well and done. 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 Oh, I need this. Man. Lord Edward, our city is under attack. Oh, good luck, buddy. Oh, yeah, there is another city here. Okay. Oh, that's gonna be a tad gonna be easy. This should be easy. Oh yeah, that's gonna be free resources apparently. Yellow, you should attack. Lord Edward, our city is under attack. Yes, 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 
City of Nazareth. We have recovered advanced equipment from this mammoth killer. Fight fiercely, Crusader Prince. But you are fey. For each man of mine that falls, five strides forth to take his place. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls. Yay. Batal. Datum, it will end. Yay. Yay. Ready, it will end. Batal. Yay, your fight. Datum, Batal. Fight. Yay. Batal. Ready, yes. Yes. The nefarious Mamluk fleet is attacking our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Battle! Battle fight! Yes! Ready! Battle battle! Ready! Yes! Ready! Yes! Ready! Yes! Ready! Yes! Ready! 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 No, 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 no. Oh, that's very fortunate. We have recovered a vast Okay, so I don't have that much of resources right now. I have no idea if I should invest in something else. I mean, that's the last place that I can raid, apparently. Is it even raidable? No, I don't think so. I'm gonna stay here as a protection, but... 
Not entirely sure on what I should do. I mean... You guys should attack at this point. Oh, they're doing something. Ready, yeah. Yes. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls. Is there any extra thing that I can do here? The nefarious Mamluk fleet is attacking our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. Okay, so maybe I'm not going to lose. Okay, no arrows lit. You guys destroy it because can't do much at this point. No. Go back. Go back. Yeah, you guys should defend at this point. Especially my city. Crusader Knights! Oka needs you now! Yes. Yeah, it will end. At once, Lord Edward! The day shall be ours! The enemy moves against us. Man the walls! The nefarious Mamluk fleet is attacking our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. Oh yeah, finish it off. What a disaster. What I am alive. Somehow. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls. I shouldn't have killed them. I mean, they had a lot of units early on. Our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. I wish I had a way of getting more resources. Mandatum? Mandatum? Yeah, 
Yeah, I will not be able to get the special achievement, but... At least I'll get some cool kills over here. Oh, thanks. That really helps. The nefarious Mamluk fleet is attacking our merchant vessels. Help us if you can. The enemy moves against us. Man the walls. Oh, come on, guys, go after this. I mean, I had a. Oh. I had some some good phases in this level where I got a lot of resources, but apparently you have a very, very limited ones. This. So. Losing to C was bad. Whoa, that's wild. I mean, that's a good level to talk about Tilton since they had a very important castle here which resisted a lot so I truly believe that maybe it's the right time for it. I guess it would be a good civilization, it really makes sense here. Very good, now I really want to see what happened. The fighting was vicious. Droves of crusaders and mamluks alike fell, spattering the battlements and the fields surrounding Ocker and Tripoli with blood and gore. Throughout the crusade, my father proved his mettle as a tactician and as a statesman. Fearless when faced with peril, he led a daring raid that devastated the enemy towns of Nazareth and Cocoon. Following these victories, he convinced the terrifying horde of the Mongol Ilkhanate to descend upon the Mamluks, devastating the region around Aleppo. The hitherto invincible Baibars was overwhelmed and forced to withdraw. But before doing so, he sent a Nizari with a poisoned blade to remove his capable rival. Edward slew the assassin, but a wound in his arm left him bedridden for months. Oh, that was brutal. So that was a really, really cool scenario, in my opinion. 105. Most of it were long bowmen. And yeah, that's an accent ratio. We lost a lot, to be frankly, but that was an accent ratio. Mamelux, they also lost. Oh, Aleppo lost so many units right here that quite impressive. Let's return to the map. I didn't destroy it, but doesn't really matter. Yeah, no way. Without siege, there is no way of getting it. 
And here as well, it would be great destroying the, the dogs, but... Very unlikely that we would be, we would do fine doing it. We are on Imperial and we are on Castle Age. So yes. We could lure the rest of the... The Navy, the enemy Navy to get here and probably get killed by the towers here. But one thing was very important, which was the use of Tilton Castles. They, they disappeared, but they were so strong and so good. And I believe that it's worth mentioning about them, since, yeah, I, it's probably one of the chances that we have to talk about civilization. So yeah, the basic of sanctions about the Britons, I already mentioned it in the past, and now it's a good time to talk about uh, Tilton's. So let me see, let me see. Here. So yeah, Teutons. It is an infantry civilization, but also it's a defensive civilization, which is not really um, being said here, but it's a big distinction from the gods, which I already explained in the past. So, as you can see, the castle of the Teutons are one of the <clears throat> best things that they can get. And they are really useful, they can be really expensive to get them that strong, and I'm gonna explain why. So first off, the monks, they got a, ruling, a healing range of two times. So they can heal your units on, from a much bigger distance, which is important and which can be really useful, but not that useful. It can be very situational, interesting bonus, but not that important. The towers, they garrison two times the units that they usually garrison. So you can put more archers and there is a big trick of our secret, if you put Janissaries, if you fill up the Janissaries in a Tilton Bombard Tower, it's gonna sh shot, it's actually gonna shoot three cannonballs, if incorrectly, three cannonballs. Full of Janissaries in Bombard Towers of Tiltons, you can get this, because you can get more uh, people inside of it, and with this you can get higher bonus. So the bonuses of extra cannonballs will add up to three, which is crazy. That's a very strong bombard tower. Murder holes, free, and herbal medicine free. Oh, that's something that I didn't read earlier. So yeah, that's something new. So they got the murder holes, and they also got this um, church um, tech free, which makes them really, really defensive because herbal medicine is about putting your units inside the castle in order to then to heal or any other building really works but usually it is a castle and that's something new that's something very important and murder holes which is great for towers as well along with castles so yeah that's very interesting another very very interesting bonus and the farms they cost less 40 percent so they are much more cheaper excellent for economy really excellent the town center garrison is plus 10 so you have more room for your villagers to protect themselves very good as well very defensive and barracks and stable units they get plus one armor in castle in imperial age that's huge so you get plus two total in the end of the game if you get post imperial that's good that's really good and as you can see their cavalry is not really fast they don't have the Technology husbandry, which is a shame, but they got full paladins and they got also extra armor of these paladins, so they are slow but powerful. Really good. And what else we got here? Oh, and there is the team bonus units resist conversion. Excellent, especially not only on team bonus, it's probably one of the best team bonuses in the game. Resistant conversion is really big, and that's really, really good for two Teutons. And you're gonna see that converting a knight, uh, a Teuton knight, it's gonna be much, much more harder. And that's so good, that's one of the best things about Teuton. So very good, and they got some really buffed uh, new uh, perks for this civilization. So they are doing extremely fine. The Eunuch unit is a Teutonic knight, which is a very, very powerful infantry. You saw around the game, it, they are very, extremely good at melee, very slow, very susceptible. So that's the logic of Teutons. Slow, but powerful. Really need a lot of gold, but they're really gonna use this gold really well. 
they are also gonna get a very good tech tree a lot of technologies but they do not have the best mobility the unique techs uh, as you can see i'm talking about a lot of things about tiltons they are so it's a so cool civilization right now the ironclad it makes your siege weapons more resistant to melee weapons so when you are attacking with your siege weapons they can resist better against enemy infantry enemy cavalry which is really good and the correlations which is why the castles are so powerful they got the every upgrade every technology to make your constructions better they got crenellations they also got what else is the name of it on um, hoardings so they are excellent really good castles and plus three range for castles it's huge and also with garrisoned infantry they will fire arrows which is good but the real deal is plus three for range for the range of castles let's go um about tech tree so the archer range it got the possibility of getting the hand cannon here really good um you're gonna need it against enemy infantry so it's a, a really good use of chemistry so gunpowder unit really good you should think about that and should use you also got super crossbowman so yeah useful for castle age but no tumbering so you're probably not going to invest a crossbowman and you know no arbalaster so it's not really the, the traction here got a little skimisher which is great for trash wars and also a really good unit to counter enemy archers which you're gonna need because most definitely they are gonna try to use archers against Teutons so pay attention about that and the cavalry archer is just that he's just here and no have cavalry archer no partisan tactics and no tumbering which again it's about Teutons not having mobility so pay attention about that uh, excellent barracks no comments here they got everything that they need and this table so it's a very delicate because they got full paladins they got excellent paladins but they are slow paladins and that really kills them so again excellent paladins but you don't have a fast cavalry so raiding with Teutons can be quite painful because husbandry makes a lot of difference especially when you're running uh, away from camels or mamelukes it makes the whole difference but full paladin. Oh, and by the way, uh, remember about the lack of mobility? No light cavalry and no hussar. So no light cavalry really hurts. Just basic scout cavalry. So yeah, light cavalry for you, it's a no-no. Yeah, that's one of the weaknesses of them. But again, excellent paladins. Oh yeah, they are missing a lot of things on stable. Siege workshop, no siege ran. Really bad for pushes, again, for a fast push, a solid one, which would be perfect with uh, such powerful infantry, they don't have. But they got Siege Manager, which is a big deal, really important, really good to have it, and a Bombard Cannon. So yeah, use it, another uh, good gunpowder unit that you have to your use, which is great. And you're definitely gonna use your pushes with Bombard Cannons, and if not, certain trebuchets, because that's the deal with the Teutons. Yeah, very sad that they have these weaknesses, but at the same time, that's a very complete and good siege workshop. And the blacksmith, no bracers, so yeah. Remember about the archer, that's why you're not going to rely on it. And also, your skirmisher is not that good, and you don't get this extra range for your castle, but you got the crenellations to compensate for your castle. That's the deal here. And the rest of it, excellent blacksmith. So your elite skimmer is going to be protected, your hand cannoneer is going to be protected, and it's really important to have really good hand cannoneers. Also, your got full upgrades for both infantry and cavalry, which makes a whole difference since you're going to stack up with the plus one armor in castle and imperial. That's huge, and that's really good. And to dock, to dock, um, you know, Teutons are not really on a water civilization they can be interesting you know on cheap farmers so it's more wood for ships and also you got protection for your coasts that's a big deal that's really important so that's a possibility but again missing dry dock missing ship ride 
and how silly it can get but you know these two technologies they make a lot of difference missing it makes really not a water civilization doable there are probably other cases with worse much worse docks but again that's doable oh and they don't have architecture my bad but they got the Mansory and they got the full university so my bad as i was saying they got a really good um defensive buildings they got an excellent castle probably one of the best castles in age of empires 2 but they are missing it quite bad but they still got hoardings to compensate and an excellent universe overall really good regarding technology and you get this for free remember about that full on um, the tower of them they can go to keep so excellent bombard tower excellent again good for pushes you're definitely gonna need to use it so it's gonna be expensive to push but still it's gonna be a good opportunity for you to use it and try to advance further on enemy land on enemy bases and also excellent castle um good technologies thermoclad can be really good for your siege for your offensive to defend as well so correlations excellent for castles you might don't do that always but trust me it's good to have to add more value it's a very expensive but it's a really good technology and hoardings which is a really good cost benefit and again to lead to tonight which it's a specialize it against infantry it's slow and powerful it can soak up damage really well against paladins so yeah another outstanding unit so here is monastery they got full monastery so another something really cool regarding the religion about the civilization so they got a full technologies excellent monastery really good and then we go the town center as well everything that you need but you're missing gold shaft mining and you're gonna need gold so that's another minor weaknesses of the Teutons but nothing lost you still can mine a lot of stone trust me you got all technology you got all the very very important which I consider much more important than that you got two men soul bow soul you got everything and I also got guilds, which you're gonna need in late game, and also corporal rotation, so your farming is excellent. So there's a lot of things to talk about Teutons. Infantry civilization, but also defensive one. Slow, but powerful. Really good civilization, I recommend you to play it, and as you can see, it was the power of the castles that really helped me on this level. And that's it for today, and I hope that you enjoyed, and I see you next time.